Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is an Ulta haul video. This is all makeup because I was over there to pick up a few things that you guys had asked me to review. And while I was over there, I was just poking around because I needed some other things. And before I knew it, it turned into a haul. <laughs> And so I just wanted to show you everything I got. I wanted to do a quick one day first impressions test on some of it and save some of it for a bigger review. So the product I really went over there for was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. I did pick this up in Warm Natural. I'm not really reviewing it or giving you first impressions on it today because I am saving this for a full on Foundation Friday. Hopefully that will be the next Foundation Friday, if not the one after, because I've also been testing the all nighter from Urban Decay. And why don't you guys let me know in the comments which one you want to see first and the one that gets, you know, the most votes will be the one that we see next Friday on an all new Foundation Friday. So the foundation that I am wearing today though that you guys requested is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I picked this up in two different colors because I had a hard time color matching me. The 204 is a little bit light and a little bit too cool on me. The 205 is a little bit too dark and a little bit too warm. Since it is inexpensive, I won't mind buying two and mixing them together. So that's what I did and that's what I'm wearing today. I am not gonna be doing a full foundation Friday on this, whether I like it or not. And the reason is that the drying alcohol is the third ingredient in here. So it is just a little bit too high on the ingredient list for me to use this on an ongoing basis. But I did use primer, I did use blending sponge, um, and I'm really, really liking it today. It's not settling in my pores, it's not settling in my wrinkles, it's not overly glowy. I actually really like the finish on it. So I'm kind of bummed that the alcohol is so high. Why can't it just not have alcohol? I'm sure alcohol is a thing that makes these foundations work, right? And of course, it's not necessarily so great for your skin, but it depends on how you feel about alcohol. You could love this one. We'll see how it wears later in the day. So on to the product that generated a lot of curiosity in my last video, and that is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I was actually wearing it in my previous video, and I put a pop-up note saying that I thought that my eyes looked really tired that day, and I thought it was kind of because of this. So we're putting it to the test today. You really get a ton in here. Most concealers are less than a quarter of an ounce. This one is about a third of an ounce. I picked it up in the color light. This is the only color they had left at my Ulta. This is selling out everywhere. This is an Ulta exclusive. The one I wanted was light medium. They didn't have that. I think it is slightly light for me. It's also a very cool color. This doe foot applicator is really a whopper of an applicator. So I just wiped that off. This is not just strictly an under eye concealer. Um, you can use it for blemishes, you can use it for contouring, for brightening. So I did a little bit of that. I would probably in future put a little bit on my hand and then use a tiny brush to put it just where I wanted. Even though I felt like I put on way too much in some areas, it did blend out beautifully. It's supposed to be a very moisturizing formula, which is great for the under eyes. As you can see from the up close, this doesn't give the scaly look. Even applying it a little bit heavy, it didn't settle in my lines or wrinkles, which I was really surprised at. I am liking it under this eye better than this eye, um, and I think that's because I set it under this eye. Under this eye, I didn't set it. So far, I'm liking this, and as I said, we will check in on it throughout the day. Then I need a new blush, and so I picked up Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Cushion Color for Cheeks, and I got it in the shade 4.5. This is really quite the hot little pink, but the color is so lightweight and so sheer that I went with this one. There is a nice coral color, and there are two more deeper colors, so the color range is really pretty. It's really lightweight, and it dries. It doesn't stay like greasy on the surface. So, so far, really good like that. All right, so then I was looking for a powder highlighter. So I picked this up. It is the Baked Gelato Swirl Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey. And it is just such a beautiful gold color. I didn't want something with big pieces of glitter in it, and today I used that one on this cheek. I'm really enjoying this highlighter. I think it's just gorgeous. It's just such a such a beautiful, warm, glowy color. I'm kind of in love with this product right now. The other cheek came out of the eyeshadow palette that I picked up in this haul, and I'll show you 
in just a minute. No, I guess I can go on to it next because am I done talking about the Laura Geller? Comparing it to the one on this side, this one just seems a little more heavy handed, a little more heavy handed, a lot more heavy handed, a lot more colorful. It is very, very pretty. I think I would just use it a little more sparingly next time, tap off the brush better, but I don't think it's that different of an effect considering the price difference. I can't remember how much the Laura Geller cost, but it's probably in the $20 to $30 range. The highlight on this cheek was included in a $15 eyeshadow palette. So this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible 10 color eyeshadow and four color highlighter palette. I don't normally go for like super warm colors, but I feel like for fall, I just wanted something that was warm and glowy. The top row is very pink and plum, and then the next row is very um, like fall gold. And then here are your four highlighters. This is the one that I use today. So this is the one out of the Carly Bible palette, and this is the Laura Geller. I've been looking for a nice gold to do like a golden fall eyeshadow. I went with like the just plain pinky on the inside. Maybe I'll gold it up right now. I mean, what the heck? Ooh, that's so pretty. Mm, that's so, oh, I'm so glad I did that. I like it so much better. I used this color all over the eyelid. This is a beautiful, just like all over the eyelid blending color. It's a matte. Then I used this one as the uh, outer V to darken it up and I use this one as the inner corner. All in all, so far, really happy with the palette. It was really easy to use. There's not a ton of fallout. I felt like the color payout was really, really good. I feel like this is a great starter palette. Like, if you're looking for just an everyday palette, easy peasy, I felt like you couldn't really mess this up by going too heavy or going too dark, because the colors really don't get terribly, terribly dark. All right, so that was the eyeshadow palette. Then I picked up an eyeliner that is supposed to help if your eyeliner challenge. It's supposed to be easier to hold easier to apply, easy, easier to make a little wing. So I thought, oh my gosh, that's what we need at our age, something that makes it easy. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Liquid Liner. The applicator on here is a felt tip pen and it's curved so it has like if you hold it sideways, it's super thin. If you hold it front ways, it's nice and fat, and it goes to a nice point. True to their claims, it is easy to hold, and it's easy to get it on there. I can't say it made the most perfect line up top, but it was easy to put it on. It was easy to correct it. I don't know how it happened, but it made my wing show up in the perfect place on both eyes, so I really liked it. So we'll see how that wears. So far, so good. Oh, I picked up two different mascaras. I'm wearing one on this eye and one on this eye, so let's take a look at them. The one I'm wearing on this eye is from Pure Cosmetics. It's the Fully Charged Mascara Powered by Magnetic Technology. Like I didn't get enough magnets in that stupid magnetic face mask that didn't do anything but irritate my skin. This is supposed to be almost like those tubing mascaras where it's supposed to coat each lash. Um, it's supposed to use the power of uh, charged ions. <laughs> You're supposed to put it at the base of the lashes, hold it there for a second or two, and then wiggle it up. Well, I didn't find it easy to apply. I felt like it kind of made a clumpy mess. I don't really like the brush. Um, I really wasn't happy with it. So the other mascara I picked up is by Maybelline. It's the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. Now the deal with this one is that it's got a interesting little wand where it's kind of like a lash comb. The bristles are just on the top part and they're shorter on the inside and longer as they get to the outside. It's supposed to grab even those outer corner while giving you kind of a feathered out kind of effect. I didn't really find that it did that too well. It didn't really grab my outer lashes. I had to actually move the wand over to get those even though I was trying to get it with the end of this one. So that didn't work too well for me, but I did like the formula better. I think it gave me more length and more volume than I'm showing on this side. So I was really having a good time over on the drugstore side of Ulta this time and I remembered that I needed to pick up another of my very favorite lip liner that is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. This is color 102. It's called Peachy Beachy and Rimmel Moisture Renew Universal Transparent Lip Liner. So basically this is a no color lip liner. You line your lips with this and it keeps your lipstick in place, helps it to wear longer. Also, if it's kind of a drying lipstick, this is supposed to be moisturizing. So I thought, my gosh, one tiny little drugstore product that's like $4 that could solve a lot of our lip problems as we get older, I have got to try this. So I put this on first. It doesn't go on exactly 100% clear. It is slightly whitish. 
but you can like overline your lips with it and you won't really see it and that way it'll really keep the lipstick out of those lip lines and it'll help to fill them in a little bit which is awesome so that they will be less visible then i went in with the peachy beachy and lined my lips with that now these lip liners because i think they're kind of made with the same formula as this they are not drying they wear all day like crazy you can see what a pretty color it is how easily it glides on my only warning to you is that keep it as low as you possibly can like just the slightest nano inch above the lip of the plastic because it will break very very easily so right next to the Rimmel was the Revlon and whenever I'm near the Revlon aisle I always go to see if they have any new colors of the Ultra HD matte lip color I love these guys and it is called embrace and so I'm wearing it today on top of those two lip liners and you know this stuff also wears all day but it can be a little drying so I really like the idea of putting this moisturizing lip liner on underneath. It's got the uh, fuzzy doe foot applicator but it's difficult to do around the edges so you can't really get that fine line and that's where these two go together perfectly because this helps you to make the perfect line and then you can just go in and slobber this on. All right so that was everything that I bought and now I'm going to go about my day and I'll check in with you a couple times as the day goes on so we can see how these products wear. Hey you guys, I'm at Petco getting some stuff for the dogs, but I um, just wanted to check in and see how we're doing. The sun is this way, so if you want to see it up in the full bright sunshine. Oh, there's this guy pulling in a truck. He's going to be like, what are you doing, lady? Uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like. I actually think it looks really good. Why? Why? It's just crazy. All right. Oh, can stop squinting now. I will, well, oh, actually, it's looking really shiny, but anyway, I'll see you back at the ranch. So I'm back for the eight hour check-in. I gotta say, all in all, it has been a darn good makeup day, considering that all of this stuff is brand new and not really used before. Um, I will say that I am feeling super shiny right now, so the foundation, it wouldn't have been a holy grail or even something that I would use again. It's moved around a little bit, it's broken up a little bit, but it's not too bad considering the price of this foundation. It's actually quite good. Um, the lip color is still hanging in there, and I feel like this color is also from the Rimmel Lip Liner. The Revlon is now worn off. Um, the highlighter, my gosh, this Carly Bible highlighter is still going amazingly strong, and I feel like the cheek color is going strong too. Um, this side, not quite as much as this one, but they've almost reacted with the foundation where now everything is just super shiny. I want to try them again with a less luminous foundation to see if they get this shiny in the afternoon on their own or not. The eye that I'm happy with is this one. Really not happy with this one. Under here is a mess of wrinkles and badness from the concealer, but set with a powder, it's pretty darn good. The eyeliner I like very much. This eye, this mascara I love. It hasn't flaked, it hasn't smudged, it hasn't done anything and I'm really digging the eyeshadow. So you know all in all a good day, very successful with these products. I was just gonna go up and wash my face and let you know how the eye stuff comes off. Ah, I feel so much better. All cleaned up and ready for bed. All right, well um, everything came off pretty easily. I do use the double cleanse with the oil first, uh, the oil based product first and then another cleanser. I forgot to do the second part of the double cleanse tonight. I just used the oil. Oh my god. Uh, it's late. It's been a long day. Long day of looking at makeup. Um, all in all, I think it was a pretty good day. And um, I took my contacts out so I can't even see what I'm doing. So I better call it a night. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I always appreciate your time. And so I'll see you next time. So take care everybody. And nighty night.